Hey there everyone, I am Arindam and today I am going to show you how you can build your first AI agent with AWS Stands Agents SDK. So if you don't know what is Stands, AWS recently launched their own Agents SDK with which you can easily ship production ready multi-agent applications with a few lines of Before moving forward, let's go to the core concept of the Stands Agents SDK. So let's go to our Excalibur. So the core concept is the agent loop. So here first user passes the query. Then the agent takes it, first invokes the model and then based on the query it decides whether to call the tool or not and then based on that it executes the tool and gets the results and then reasons it and finally it generates the response. So that is one of the core concept of Stands Agents SDK. So awesome, now we will go to our VS Code and start building it. I have opened my VS Code now, I will just initialize the project using UV. So it has initialized the project. Now we will add the required packages. Awesome. Now the requirements are done. Now let's minimize this and go to our main.py file. So this will be the entry point for our agents and we'll write the whole logic here. So first let me clear it and import the packages that we needed. Awesome. So now we will add the prompt for our agent. So let me just remove the sidebar and increase the font a bit. So we will be building an weather report agent. So let me add the prompt here. Okay, so I have added the prompt here. So as you can see here, it makes the HTTP request with the National Weather Service API. It process and displays the weather forecast data. So based on your risk case, you can change the prompt here. So next up, we'll be adding our model. So for the model part, we'll be using NBS AI Studio models via Light LLM. You can use different model provider as per your need. So we will be using that DeepSync model provided by NBS AI Studio. If you don't know about NBS AI Studio, NBS AI Studio provides state of art open source model. You can find models from DeepSync R1, Quen3. You can also find embedding models, text image model, vision models, and a lot more. So if you are building AI agents, you should definitely give it a try. So as I have mentioned before, for this project, I am using DeepSeq V3 model. You can use different models as well. Now let's get back to our VS code. So we have configured our model. I have added all the params, the max tokens, the temperatures. You can change it based on your use case. Now we will define the weather agent. So here we are passing the system prompt as the weather system prompt. The tools is the HTTP request tool that will request the weather forecast API and get all the results. And we are just passing the light LM model that we have just defined here. Now we will just pass the query and print the response. So for this example, we will be asking it to compare the temperature in New York and Chicago this weekend and it will print the result. Now we will add our Navius API keys and we are good to go. So for that, you can go to this get API section. You can create API key and we'll get the API key here. I will copy it and paste it to my VS code. Go to our env file and that's it. Now we will just run it. So let me open my terminal uv run main.py. As you can see here, it is doing the tool calling here, the HTTP request tool that it has. And it is doing multiple tool calling and it has started generating the response here. As you can see here, on Saturday 26 July, the daytime high, nighttime low, and all these things are mentioned here. So you can use it on different use cases as well. Awesome. So our first agent is up and running. Now you can create more complex agentic workflows, or you can also use MCP tools within it. And in the next videos, I will be covering those. Also, the code is public. You can find them at arindam 200 slash awesome AI apps. All you have to do is go to the starter AI agents and then you will find an AWS stand starter and then you will get all the code here, all the code here. Also, if you are building agents, you can contribute to this project. We are actively looking for contributors. So you can create a pull request and share your projects. We'll be more than happy to add them up. If you like this project, do give it a start. This motivates me a lot to create more projects like this. 
and thanks a lot for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next video bye